Hi everybody, it's Miss Ward and this is lesson two of Spinning Earth. Um, the last time we were together, I asked you to go out and make observations. So if you were here last time, hopefully you have those. If you don't have those observations, it's okay. You can just look at mine and we'll do great together. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you had this sky observation sheet, um, then you could have made your observations on, on this paper. If you didn't have this sheet, you could just do it on a blank piece of paper. That's what I did actually, my sky observations. I just did them on a blank piece of paper um, and this is what I did, but you might have yours on this nice sky observation sheet. Either way is fine. And even if you don't have them, that's also okay. Um, you can just look at mine for today um, and then you'll be able to make more later. Um, so what I want you to do right now is look at your sky observation sheet and talk to your partner. So my partner today is going to be uh, Lavender. If you were here last time, you already met Lavender. Okay, so let me tell you about what I observed yesterday. Um, one thing I noticed right away is that there's a lot of trees around my house. So I did end up drawing, you can see I drew one tree um, because there was this, this really tall tree and there wasn't any way for me to see all the sky without that tree being in the way. So I decided to add it. And then I have the circle, which is the sun and the sky and the clouds. I just ended up drawing kind of these squiggly lines for most of the clouds because they just looked like these sort of wispy things. So go ahead and talk to your partner about what your observations were. What did, what did you draw? Go ahead. Okay, so what we just did is what scientists do, which is make observations, okay? so. While we're doing this unit, not only are we gonna learn about the sky, but we're gonna learn about what scientists do. And one thing they do is they make observations. So they observe. So we're gonna add that to our chart back here. Observe, okay? And then let me talk a little bit about what observing is. So what does it mean to observe? Okay. What are the different ways that we can observe things as scientists? If we think about it, how do we make observations? What are some ways that we observe? When I went outside and I went to sketch what I saw in the sky, what was I doing? Okay, I, I know, you guys know this one too, right? Is when we observe, we're using our eyes right? To see what we can see, right? How else do we observe things? We can touch them, right? There's my little hand. Um, we can hear them. That's my funny looking ear. Let's see, we can see, we can touch, we can hear. Oh, we can smell them with our big nose and there's one more which is that's right taste we can taste them I'm making my tongue out there um so these are the different ways we're gonna observe I'm wondering though when we went out and observed what we saw in the sky how did we observe the sky. How did we make those observations? What did we do? Lavender, what do you think? What did we do? Yeah, Lavender's right. We used our eyes to make those observations. Yeah. Did you guys use your eyes to make your observations as well? So now we're going to go back to Sai and his grandma. Remember Sai and his grandma back here? Um, we're gonna work as scientists to help him figure out 
why what he saw in the sky was different than his grandma. Um, and one of the ways we're gonna do that is by looking at the sky at different times. So when I made my observations, when I made mine, it was in the morning. And I know that because I had just had breakfast and brushed my teeth and gotten ready to make this video. And that's when I went out and saw the sky, right? But I need to do it at a different time as well. Um, this is what the sky looked like when Sai called his grandma back in the last lesson. This is what it looked like. And we looked at how the sky was the same and how it was different between what sky what Sai saw, which is this, this is what Sai saw, and what his grandma saw, which is this, right? And we talked about how they were the same and how they were different. And we're gonna do the same thing with our own observations, but in order to do that, we need more than one observation. So the next thing we're gonna do is make new sky observations. And that's actually the last thing we're gonna do today, okay? So just like we did last time with this one, you're gonna either use a blank piece of paper or you're gonna use your notebook page if you have this notebook page and you're gonna go make observations of the sky again. And again, make sure that you're going with an adult and you have permission and don't look directly at the sun. That can really hurt your eyes, okay? So I decided that for my second paper, because my first one was just blank, I was gonna use a blank piece of paper again and I was just gonna write a big number two on it so I know it's my second observation. And my last observation I did in the morning. So this second observation, I'm gonna do right after lunchtime, I think, okay? So that I have two observations at different times. Do you guys see how I drew a tree already? I decided that for me, I was gonna look in the same spot of the sky every time I go out and look. So that when I'm looking for changes, I notice just how the sky is different but like where I'm looking is the same, which is why I have that tree there. All right, so this is what your next task is, okay? Before we meet back up again, go look at the sky again. Hopefully you can look in the same spot where you looked last time. Make your observations either on a blank piece of paper or in the observation sheet, and then make sure you label your drawing, okay? And again, don't go without an adult. Make sure you have permission to go outside and that you have your grown up with you. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.